Mona from Mona's Life and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hello, I hope you guys check out my other videos too. The links should be on my channel. So let's get right into this video. As you can see from the description, it's about getting a wax scar, which really sucks and if you're in that position right now and that's why you're watching this video, I feel so bad for you because <laughs> it's not a good experience. I'm gonna tell you guys my experience and then I'll tell you how you can take care of it after. So yeah, stay till the end to find out what you can do for the scarring and if there is scarring at all. So it was about like two weeks ago, I went to go do my eyebrows and my upper lip. I usually get my upper lip waxed because I do get a little bit of hair up there and what girl really wants to have a little bit of stuff? I know I don't. So I went to this normal spot that I normally go to but the lady who I normally go to, she was unavailable and I went to this new lady whom I've never seen before and at first it was fine because she threaded my eyebrows and I was like, this is going fine. And then I told her I wanted to get my upper lip wax and when she got the wax, she actually dropped some of the wax on my shirt and I was like, oh boy, does she know what she's doing? And you know, right there I was like, oh, this is gonna be fun. So she put the wax on my upper lip and then she took the paper thing, you guys know what they use to rip it off. Yeah, so she did it so rough, like she like was dabbing down, which people never do. They just normally just do quick, quick tap and just rip. She like me. <laughs> I have nothing against the lady. She's probably training, which is fine, but she should have told me. And yeah, she could have just thread it. Even though it hurts, I would have gone with it as long as I didn't get a scar. She put the wax strip there and then she dabbed it super hard and she like took my cheek like this. And she was like, yeah. I was like, oh my god. But normally it's like you feel the pain and you're like, okay, whatever. But this time it felt so weird. Like, I don't know how to say it. It felt wet and sore and really like fresh, like freshly wet. And I was like, why does it feel like that at first? I didn't think anything of it. Cause I was like, it's probably that first feeling of when the wax gets taken off. And I was like, okay, whatever. I got up, I was getting ready to pay. And it was burning, you guys. It was literally burning. I was like, what is going on? Like I've never had to like use my hand to blow it like a fan. It was so bad. I was like, something is wrong here. And I told the lady, I was like, I even I tipped her, cause like you have to tip these people. But she did. <laughs> if I knew what had happened at that time, I would not have tipped her. I wouldn't have paid at all. So I told her I was like, it's burning, and I feel really uncomfortable, and this has never happened before. So she was like, go put some like aloe cream on it, and I walked to, back to the mirror area, and I took some aloe and I put it on but it burned like it burned so bad like it felt like my upper lip was on fire literally fire and I was like oh my god what is happening <laughs> so I told her and she got me some ice and I was like okay the ice is helping I don't feel that much pain anymore I got home and I was sitting on my bed like wow this is insane the ice was like helping the pain but as soon as the ice melted and I had no more ice guys it hurt so much and then i was like i gotta go back there there's something wrong my lip is all red i'm gonna show you guys pictures after this and it's gonna be the process of the healing and everything but it was so bad i'm never gonna go to that lady again i got a refund when i got back there and it was terrible completely terrible yeah this is day four of the burn i got the wax burn and as you can see, I have a ton of Vaseline on it because that's how we're going to keep it. It's still really dark, but if you look really close, you can't see, but this piece of skin right here actually is coming off, but the Vaseline makes it blend back. But if I picked it up, it's like, it's, you can see under, ew, it's not dark, but this is making it seem like it is. And I'm trying to leave the skin on there because there's slightly, a, like very slight darker color. And I feel like over time, if they leave it very moist, the skin color should be normal. So hopefully it won't scar. And I will keep you guys updated on how this turns out. Hopefully no scar. Now I kind of feel like it's not going to leave a scar. And I, leave, I feel really relieved. <laughs> okay, everyone. This is the same day. This is Monday. But look at, look at this. Can you guys see? Alright, so this is the scar with better lighting you can see. 
this is the whole scar but as you can see this piece of skin is like dead skin i guess and it's like the same dark color which is insane but then under that there's like my normal skin but uh, can you see like a little bit of this color <sighs> a little darkness there oh my god i look like i put on a mustache and it actually feels like a waxy mustache i bet you look do you guys see that it feels very dry oh and look this side's also peeling off i'm like so scared to take off the like i don't want to touch it because i feel like if you don't let these kind of things come off by the way don't mind <laughs> my jeans hanging over there i did laundry and they didn't completely dry in the dryer so yeah letting them air dry over there but yeah i'm gonna show you guys what i put on it to keep it super super moist all right guys so at first when it was barely fresh now my camera i'm using the front camera so you're not gonna be able to see the writing properly this is me pouring i'm pretty sure a lot of you use it for when you get scrapes cuts burns uh, so this is what i've been using like the first day when it was super painful because it had that burning sensation which sucked and it hurt so much but this has pain relieving ointment in it so once you put it on like after like a few minutes oh my god it's so soothing it stops the burning yeah so if you guys are going through what i went through or i'm still going through use knees porn for the pain it will help trust me but then i want to say after after overusing it a little bit because i was wearing a face mask basically the whole week well not the whole week the past few days ever since i got it because i don't want to walk around looking like i have a dark mustache on yeah it really feels like i have a mustache it's so crusty you guys i cannot help but play with this but i'm not gonna pull it off because can't mess up the healing process i don't want to mess it up and end up with a scar here because this would look so bad i swear but yeah use this this is life changing life helping i didn't even know but i was overusing this and i feel like it started burning a little bit like not a lot of burning but an uncomfortable feeling and so i stopped using it and i got vaseline because vaseline is it has nothing in it it's just jelly to keep it very moist and i'll take like a lot and i'll just leave it on there as much as possible to keep my skin as moist as possible because i don't want it to dry up I feel like when you let something dry up, that's how it ends up scarring. Ew. Ew. What happened? Ew, you guys. A piece of skin just came off from where? Not the, is it this side? Oh, it did come off from this side. Alright, so if it naturally came off, good thing I have tissue right here. It's fine. But yeah. Other than that, just keep it very, very moist. It just worked for me. Okay, everyone. This is day six of the burn. This part peeled off completely, and there's still a few left here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a slight darkness here. Like, it's a little dark. See, like right here, you see it darker. So I guess that's the scarring that's gonna end up, but I feel like over time, it is gonna get lighter because it's still very fresh. You see the line of that? Yeah. And I also ordered a scar cream. So I'll be applying that once this whole thing falls off. So hopefully this dark little bit of scarring goes away in time. All right, you guys, so this is still day six of the, the burn, the wax burn. As you can see, they all peeled off. I was just putting Vaseline on and while I was putting it on, the little piece of skin just came off onto my fingers. So they're gone. This, Face still feels a little tender, which means it's definitely not healed. I look much better, but as you can see, you guys can see it's a little dark shading, kind of slightly darker. I look like I have a, a shave rash or something. Anyway, I will start putting cream on it. Hopefully it starts matching my skin again, but it's not bad and I can live with how it looks right now. Okay, so you guys saw the process of everything and the few days that I went through healing. As you guys saw, I used Muse Porn 
that was the best thing you can do. At first the lady gave me this aloe cream when I went back there to get my refund and it burned so bad every time I put it on and it was just irritating it more and it just got really red and it got scabby. But after I used the Nisporin, after doing a lot of Google searching, yeah, the pain totally went away and then it just left me with the scabby face that I had. So definitely use Nisporin if you have it because it will take that burning pain away, which if I knew the first day, I would put Nisporin right away. If you guys want to know if it scars, as you can see right now, you don't really see much of a scar, but it is slightly darker than it should be. And I bought this scar cream that I've been using for like a few days. I don't know if it works yet, but I think it's doing a little bit. I can't say yet for sure. What you can do for the scab is just make sure you keep the the Nisporin or the, what's it called? Uh, mm, what's it called? Wait, what's that called again? Uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, so use the Nisporin or put Vaseline and Oh no. <laughs> and leave it very moist. Make sure you leave it moist because if you let it dry up, I, I don't know, I think it would scar if you let it dry. Every time I get a burn, a scar, a scratch, I make sure I always leave it super moist. That way there's no scar because then that gives your skin time to heal properly. So that's the best option, I would say. It does not scar. After the peeling process, it will be a little darker, but as the days go on, you're going to notice it's not going to scar, which is a life. What am I trying to say? It's just so good to know it's not going to scar, especially because it's your face. Who wants a scar on their face? That would like ruin everything. As you guys saw, I look like freaking, I put on a fake mustache, which is so bad. That's kind of it. I just wanted to make this video because at the time when I had this, I googled and YouTubed so many videos and no one was answering the question whether it's scarred or not. <sighs> yes. So I wanted to make this video to tell you who is watching this video that it won't scar so don't be so nervous like i was yeah if you guys liked this short video i hope you enjoyed and watch my other videos too like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time <laughs> okay bye